Good evening guys, this is Mike Fadua and we're back to our latest analysis for this uh, Wednesday to Friday, October 12, 14, 2022 and this is brought to you by Typhoon2000. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set for Wednesday until uh, tomorrow, Thursday, October 13. We have uh, four low pressure systems across the uh, Western Pacific, including the West Philippine Sea. We are going to discuss first the uh, uh, low pressure system close to the Philippine Islands. This is a uh, low pressure area 98W, which is uh, still an active LPA, which we mentioned a couple of days ago. And this system has been upgraded by Pagasa as Mai Mai and is currently uh, quite disorganized as of this time. The rain convection or the rain circulation of this system is now embedded over the northern portions of Luzon, particularly Cagayan Valley, and it's likely that this system will uh, dissipate within the next 12 to 24 hours along the coastal waters of Aurora. So right now it's still uh, slowly moving towards the west, or we may say it's quasi-stationary along the eastern uh, coastal waters of uh, Kasiguran. And elsewhere we have uh, three more tropical uh, lows, which is uh, which are all embedded within this active monsoon trough. Okay, and the uh, first one we are going to discuss the one to, over the West Philippine Sea in the vicinity of the Kalayan Island Group, uh, over the Spratlys. This is LPA-90W, which is uh, moving slowly towards the uh, uh, southern coastal waters of Vietnam. So it has a low chance of developing a tropical cyclone within the next uh, 24 hours. And uh, another one we are keeping an eye is uh, LPA-97W, which is uh, currently a tropical depression based on the uh, latest information from Pagasa. And uh, this uh, low pressure system is currently at medium probability of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours. We are going to observe this system as well and is moving towards the northwest, likely to enter the Philippine area responsibility. We are closely uh, monitoring the system for developing into a tropical cyclone within the next uh, couple of days. And uh, over to the right most, we have another low pressure system which has been upgraded as of this time into Tropical Depression 21W by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, while the rest of the other agencies remains as a tropical low or LPA. This is 99W, but right now it's already named re or renamed as a 21W moving towards the north northeast. Okay, so you can clearly see here that to the north of the monsoon trough, we have a, an initial burst of the northeast monsoon affecting uh, extreme uh, northern Luzon, particularly Batanes, Babuengkubo Islands, and the coastal waters of uh, Ilocos and uh, northern Cagayan. So these areas will have winds of up to 65 kph and uh, will be dangerous to uh, fishing vessels and uh, sea crafts passing across the Bashi and Balintang channels. And uh, heavy rainfall will continue across northern Luzon because of the northern northwestern uh, circulation of LPA-98W. We have a shear line here uh, embedded within the frontal system to the south of Japan. Along the southern part of the monsoon trough, or south of the monsoon trough, we have a uh, weak uh, southwesterly surface wind flow, bringing some thunderstorms across uh, Palawan and the coastal waters of uh, western Mindanao, moving into Sambanga Peninsula and the western sections of southern Mindanao, uh, affecting the coastal waters of Soxygen. And uh, another burst of southwesterly wind flow can be seen over Palau and Yap across western Micronesia bringing some rains and thunderstorms as well. So that's the latest from our graph set showing to you the very robust okay, monsoon trough all the way from the uh, west uh, Philippine Sea across the western Pacific Ocean. Here's the fast animation uh, as you can see these are three tropical lows. Here's the uh, 99W. 
who is uh, 98W, which is currently dissipating with the uh, mid-level of circulation, with lots of rain across uh, Cagayan Valley, and uh, here's the LPA, the other LPA, it's right here, okay, this is an upper level low, TUTT, -T -T, also known as a tropical up upper tropospheric uh, trough, which is inhibiting uh, convective activity in the vicinity of 97W, so it's uh, currently uh, still uh, uh, limiting the development of 97W, but in the next few days, this uh, upper level low or TUTT will begin to uh, the decay and uh, it will pave way to let uh, 97W rapidly intensify as it moves towards the Philippine Sea with a possible track towards extreme northern Luzon this coming weekend. So we are going to uh, be issuing storm watches as well on the system and uh, later on storm advisory from Typhoon 2000. Here's the other one, 99W, moving, uh, called barely moving, but it is uh, likely to accelerate towards the north, to north northeast, across the open waters of the western Pacific. Here is our last track that we issued around 11 a.m. this this morning, and this is uh, 11 a.m. October 12. So for the forecast for this evening, it will uh, be moving towards the southwest and uh, for the next 24 hours, it will uh, decay or dissipate over the waters east of Aurora. So this is no longer a tropical uh, low within the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. Likely by tomorrow morning, we'll be issuing final storm watch on this weather system. Here's the... Uh, Typhoon Global Models, here's the uh, track of uh, LPA-98W, so it's nothing, it's going to decay within the next couple of hours, and here's a 97W, which is expected to move briefly towards the west-northwest, uh, once it enters PAR this uh, coming uh, Thursday, it will uh, start to move towards the west-southwest, likely becoming a tropical cyclone here along the uh, 130 degree east longitude and we'll track west northwest towards the uh, areas of Batanes Babuyan group so that will be on Sunday okay so Fox again over extreme northern Luzon from northern Cagayan northern Ilocos Norte up to Batanes Babuyan Kababa Islands be aware of this approaching LPA 97W as it could become a tropical depression or even a tropical storm as it approaches your area come Saturday and Sunday. And uh, it is likely to be named as Neneng once it enters the Philippine area of responsibility because the uh, uh, Pagasa remains it as a tropical depression even if it's still outside of the Philippine area of responsibility. So all eyes on this system beginning tomorrow to Friday and until its passage on Sunday. And some models are forecasting it to be pushed southwest by the uh, surge of uh, the northeasterly monsoonal flow by early next week and it will roam the West Philippine Sea and into the South China Sea towards the coastal waters of Vietnam. So, so far that's the latest on these uh, tropical low pressure systems on the um, global models. Here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com showing to you the latest uh, circulation of uh, LPA 98W which is currently here dissipating. Okay. And most of its rain bands still affecting uh, uh, northern Aurora, Cagayan Valley. So lots of rainfall will continue. It is uh, highly possible that these areas are going to have some uh, high risk of uh, uh, flooding and uh, landslides. So please take all necessary precautions as on and off uh, moderate to at times heavy rainfall will continue across Cagayan Valley and some portions of northern Luzon except for Benguet. 
although Benguet will also share will be, will also be experiencing some thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon or evening. While the rest of the archipelago will have isolated thunderstorms of Mindanao, portions of the Visayas, and also across the Bicol region, particularly during the afternoon or evening. Here's the rainfall accumulation for the next 24 hours. Much of the rainfall will still be concentrated over the Cagayan Valley because of the remnants of the cloudiness of LPA 98W or Mai Mai. And for the next three days, you can clearly see here the southwesterly wind flow, bringing some rains and thunderstorms across Palawan and western sections of Visayas, western Mindanao, while uh, localized thunderstorms will be expected across uh, portions of Masbate, northern uh, Samar, Bicol region, Central and Southern Luzon, including Metro Manila. So these are isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. While uh, Northern Luzon, particularly Cagayan Valley, will still continue to uh, experience some occasional on and off rainfall from moderate to uh, extreme intensity because of the remnants of LPA 98W. As for the wind forecast for the next three days, by tomorrow afternoon, Thursday, Here's the other LPA west of Mindoro becoming a, an active one as it moves towards Vietnam. We are still have the surge of the northeast monsoon. Here's a 97W entering par. Uh, LPA 98W already gone based on this uh, Euro, Euro model based on the forecast for tomorrow Thursday. Friday we have uh, LPA 90W. Now moving closer towards the coastal waters of Vietnam. And this is now 97W acting up, becoming a, uh, a possible as a, a tropical depression, a tropical storm, moving towards extreme northern Luzon. Saturday, it will be approaching the uh, Balintang and Bashi channels. Okay. And likely uh, increasing winds of up to 50 or 60 kph will be expected across Batanes and Babuyungkaba Islands. And on Sunday afternoon, the system will pass uh, very close or in the vicinity of Batanes as a tropical depression or even a tropical storm. Okay, so again, uh, bad weather will be expected across these areas, including the uh, extreme northern parts of Luzon, that includes northern Cagayan, uh, northern Ilocos Norte, Kalinga, and Apayao. Okay? And uh, that's the forecast for the next four days until Sunday. So, folks up there in the extreme northern parts of Luzon, please take on uh, some precautions and be aware of the approach of LPA-97W, which could become Neneng once it enters par on Thursday. Before we leave you, here's again the latest global tropics hazards for this, uh, for the next two weeks. Valid, uh, October 19 to November 1 for week two. October 19 to October 25, still, uh, 20 to 40 percent probability of a tropical cyclone formation will be expected over the, uh, Philippine Sea up to the South China Sea. The uh, higher probability, which is around 40%, is likely over the West Philippine Sea. So likely this is already the uh, track of uh, LPA 97W, while to the east of the Philippine Islands, it's still at uh, 20% probability. So we still don't know if there will be another succeeding LPA. But so far in the medium range forecast, nothing follows 97W so far. Okay? And for week three, valid October 26th to November 1, the Philippine Islands will uh, be again experiencing above average rainfall probability of at least 50 to 65 percent. The 65 percent is likely over Luzon because of the onset, because of the onset of the northeast monsoon, which could bring more rainfall associated with the uh, prevailing La Nina phenomenon. So, uh, so far, that will be the uh, 
forecast for the third week okay that will be the forecast for the uh, week three uh, october 26 to november 1 and that will be uh, uh, on uh, all saints day all souls day so uh, we are expecting this uh, rainfall activity across the Filipino islands okay especially in the afternoon or evening so far that's the latest uh, we are going to uh, return again on friday to give you the very latest on these uh, low pressure systems particularly the other one 97w which is located outside still outside of par but we are anticipating the entrance into the philippine air responsibility by uh, tomorrow thursday and into friday so we'll be back again this is mike padua stay safe always good evening and God bless to all.